Let's look at some filter circuits using the network analyzer. We'll start off with a simple switchable low pass filter network that's actually used in the WA2 EBY amplifier. And then we'll go on after that's done and look at some BIDX filter circuits. We're going to be using the HP8407A network analyzer. And its companion is a 8601. 8407 has to work with either an 8601 or an 8690 sweeper because the 8601 sweeper outputs the desired frequency, say 50 megahertz, but also another frequency that's 100 meg higher than the desired frequency. So just a standard frequency sweeper wouldn't work for this. We have the output coming out of the 8601 feeds into the center port of a power divider and one half of the power is going into the reference channel the other half is going to go into the test channel so when we start out first thing we want to do is set it up for a 0 dB reference and that's going to be set up for the center of the screen so we're going to set it to there it's close to the center now I'm at, currently at 10 dB per division. I have a two and a half, a one dB, and a quarter dB setting on here. So I'm going to increase the resolution. I'm in a quarter dB per division right now, and I adjust the amplifier amplitude gain so I'm sitting at center. So right now we're sweeping from one megahertz to 110 megahertz on the screen. You see a little bit of hump up here at the top end. That's just a little bit of error in the system. Let's take and hook some other cables up. For the W2EBY amplifier I have some RG174 cables I'm going to hook in to the circuit. So let's hook them in and check the, the display at that time. We're just a little off here so adjust that so let's hook the other cables up. Ideally, I'd replace the test channel cables with a equivalent length of the RG174 cables, but I'm unable to do that because I don't have the right adapters. And the main place that will make a big difference in is making phase measurements, which we're not going to make anyway, because the length of the cables between the test and the reference channel need to be the same length if I or, or at least they should be same or similar to make phase measurements. So if we take a look at the screen now, here's our zero dB reference. You notice we've got this is a quarter dB per division. I've got up here about 90 meg or so. I've got almost four tenths of a dB insertion loss just from using the RG174. And if you notice, as I move the cables around, I get a different dip. So that kind of shows you how important that cable length is when we're working with uh, higher frequencies. For the most part, we're going to be working down here, so we're not going to be too worried about what's up that way anyway. The 8601 has different sweep settings. Right now I'm in the full sweep setting which allows it to run the full width of its, its range which in the upper frequency mode it goes to 110 megahertz from 1 to 110 meg. The lower mode it goes from 100 kilohertz to 11 megahertz. I also have a choice of video sweep and with video sweep the top end of the sweep is determined by the frequency setting of the frequency dial. The other setting is symmetrical sweep which in this particular range, in the full range, I can go anywhere from three tenths of a megahertz to one megahertz symmetrically centered around the frequency dial setting. We'll use this for bandpass filters. Then if I just want to run straight CW, I just switch it to CW and it outputs the frequency on the set on the dial. So let's actually hook a filter up and see. We'll see we have it zeroed out here. 
at uh, 1 megahertz and we're good up here to 50 megahertz or so. Uh, 50 megahertz we actually have about a quarter dB of loss in our setup itself so let's take a look at some HF low pass filters. What we're going to look at is the WA2 EBY low pass filter board that's built up for the HF hand bands. It's got six bands on it and it's selectable by the switch. Okay, we have one of the filters in. We're set up so we're running a symmetrical sweep between 1 megahertz, 1 megahertz on the left and 50 megahertz on the right. So we can see that in that case each division is worth 5 megahertz. So this is probably our 160 filter. We'll change switch settings. Now cut off a little less than 5 megahertz little less than 10 megahertz and there we go the little over 10 megahertz there we have 20 megahertz and there we have 25 megahertz 30 35 so it's just above 30 megahertz so that's probably our 10 meter one Let's take a look at a little more detail. We'll go back to our 180, 160 meter filter and we'll change the sweep frequency. And I'm in the video mode. And I'm going to change it down to 10 megahertz. So at this point, each division is worth about 1 megahertz. So I have about a 2 megahertz roll off here. Each division here is worth 10 dB. So it rolls off down into the mud down here at 40 dB down. Let's give it a little more gain and see what we can dip down to. So I've gave 30 dB a gain, so I'm now 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 dB down at this point. So that filter doesn't look too bad. Let's switch to the next one up. And remember I'm still going 0 to 10 megahertz. So this is about 4 megahertz or so here, a little less than 4 megahertz. And up here at 10 megahertz, I'm 10, 20, 30, 40, over about 45 dB down. So you can see how nice this is to take a look at filters. Let's go back. Well, we'll go to 25 megahertz. We'll take this back down to zero and let's measure the insertion loss of the filter. We'll grab this filter right here. The way we do that is we just increase the sensitivity. This is 10 dB per division. This is 2.5 dB per division, 1 dB per division, quarter dB per division. So this is 2.5 megahertz. This would be 5 seven and a half and about 10 megahertz I'm down one division so I have 0.25 dB of insertion loss for that filter so this right here is the 0.25 dB point let's take and actually measure that I can measure that easily using the frequency counter the 8601 has a auxiliary output connector which is the RF frequency basically. On the 1 to 110 meg range it's divided by 10 through a prescaler mm -hmm. and we can hook that directly to our frequency counter. So what we want to do is move it from the, the sweep boat from the fast slow to the manual and at this point I can adjust the output frequency just by adjusting this potentiometer here. So let's go back and look at the screen while I adjust the pot. I switched my vertical sensitivity back to 10 dB so you can see what I'm actually doing on the screen. I'm adjusting. Here's, here's counterclockwise. As I adjust clockwise, the frequency increases and you see the display on the screen. So I'm just adjusting the pot back and forth. I'm going to go back and double check the 0 dB position on my screen. So I've got my two input and output cables shorted together. 
and I adjust the amplitude to center zero and now we have we're sweeping between zero between one megahertz and 25 megahertz so I'll be off just a little bit up at the high end but I'm going to measure insertion loss down here so let's let's go ahead and hook the circuit back up, uh, the filter back up now I have my filter connected again to get this coax out of the way if we do it one we can do it we've got one DB per setting also so I can set it to one DB range and when I come down here's one DB down two DB down three DB down right at that point it's my three DB cutoff frequency so I'm going to go to manual sweep I'm going to adjust it until I get at the minus three division place it's pretty sensitive to adjust that's close enough when we do that we want to look at our frequency counter look at our frequency counter it says 1.165 and the plus 6 over there means megahertz on the right but remember this has gone through a divide by tan prescaler so our 3 dB down point on this filter was at 11.64 megahertz we can do that with another with another one so let's reset to a new filter and do one more measurement we can calibrate our screen by running it over to the left hand side looking at the counter the counter says 111.6 so multiply that by 10 so the left hand side of the screen right now is 11.16 megahertz and we can roll it over to the right hand side the counter says 2.429 so that would be roughly that's 24.29 megahertz on our screen we'll go back to our sweep mode and up somewhere up here we're at 10 db per division currently somewhere up here is where our cutoff frequency is so let's go to the 1 db per division setting so down here there's minus 1 db minus 2 db minus 3 db so right at that point is our minus 3 db our cutoff frequency of this filter so let's go ahead and measure that. By to measure it, I'd simply go to manual sweep. I adjust it down there until it's the th three divisions down. And then we look at the counter. Counter says 2.134. So that's 21.34 megahertz is the 3 dB down point. So you've seen a little bit a real quick run through on some basic measurements you can make with a network analyzer. Say, boy, I'd love to have one of those. Well, just this morning I looked on eBay, and remember you have to have the two pieces. You need the 8601 sweeper and the 8407. Then they have different displays here. This is a phase magnitude display, and we're running in the magnitude position, but they have tested calibrated 8407 with a 8412 magnitude display for $700 and you'd have to spend probably a couple hundred dollars more for a 8601 but if you keep your eye out there, about two months ago there was a complete set of the 8407 and the 8601 the power splitter and everything you needed basically to make standard magnitude measurements for $400 buy it now. So keep an eye out and if you can get a right of return so that you're not buying somebody else's junk.